featherweight matchup between Alexander the Great Volkanovski and Yair Rodriguez. So we get another look tonight at the great Yair Rodriguez, DC. It's hard to remember a fighter being as hyped as Rodriguez was when he made his UFC debut at UFC 180 back in 2014. And for my money, he has largely lived up to that. Yeah, he's lived up to expectation. I remember when we met Yair on the Ultimate Fighter Latin America, right away you understood that there was a star quality about this kid, but also an ability to just be free inside of the octagon. And it shows in his performances. The knockout of the Korean Zombie will stand the test of time because it was one of the greatest fights you had ever seen. And Yair and his toughness allowed him to go and find that knockout. So the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're in danger the entire time. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Right here. Oh. Just misses there with the left. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard and he goes upstairs. He's going to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels and explode into you. And when he gets his hands locked, you're going for a ride. This guy's a full-on big martial arts fighter. Big kick lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Yair Rodriguez. Nice one, two there. Oh, straight right. Nice defense there. Huge block. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. <laughs> Rodriguez gets caught with that punch. Got to oh. shore up the defense here. That was a jab. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Round two coming up next. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face. Landed that big... All right, here we go. Round two. It is Ready? Alexander Volkanovsky. And Yair Rodriguez. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He loaded up there on that high kick. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> A 
nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. So 44 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And DC pretty accurate as well, landing at a 54% connection rate thus far against Yair Rodriguez. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably gonna hold up after tonight. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a team. Whatever you set up in front of him, he is going to do, and he's gonna do it at the highest level. We saw that in this fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch lands over the top. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Right side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Nice punch, Lance. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so he lands another punch there. And he smells blood in the water, going right back at that. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open. And now he's just touching it over and over again. Oh! Dude's hurt. sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by...